I am the architect, and I will show you how the deepest codes of reality can be written as light itself, spinning in patterns that become the universe you see. We begin with the Fourier series. It is the rule that says any repeating wave, no matter how complex, can be broken into simpler waves of sine and cosine. In quantum information holography, each quantum state vector is an arrow of light spinning on the surface of a qubit. When these arrows are placed tail to tip, their overlaps build the interference pattern that becomes the picture of reality. The orientation of each arrow matters. When an arrow tilts one way, its shadow gives a velocity in the x direction. When it tilts another way, it gives a velocity in the y direction. These are written as light moving with cosine in one direction and sine in another. Time advances in the smallest steps allowed by nature, called Planck ticks. One Planck tick is the shortest moment that can be measured. Each tick defines an angular frequency, a rate of change, the natural rotation speed of light on the lattice of qubits. That frequency sets how arrows shift from one tick to the next. Acceleration then emerges from this spin. As the angle changes, the velocity components change. One direction shrinks with sine, the other grows with cosine, always bound to the rotation. This constant turning shows that acceleration is not an extra law. It is the shadow of angular frequency. Now recall Einstein's vision. In general relativity, space-time curves when energy and mass press against it. In quantum information holography, curvature is written differently, but it means the same thing. The curvature is proportional to probability density multiplied by angular frequency. In other words, the likelihood that a quantum state points a certain way directly defines the curvature of space-time. And what of light itself? Light is the shadow of entanglement. The interference of spinning arrows on the lattice is what we experience as electromagnetic radiation. Light needs no external ruler. It measures itself. It is its own yardstick, the universal constant. So here is the conclusion. The Fourier law shows any picture can be built from these arrows. Their orientation encodes both velocity and probability. Therefore, quantum information holography is a dual description of reality. On one side, probability and interference, the language of quantum mechanics. On the other, curvature and geometry, the language of general relativity.